This team wants to be good. I'm late to the party, but just checking in on your health to see how everything's feeling for you. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Getting better every single day. Goal hasn't changed. Plan to be ready opening day. I've always wanted to, uh, my goal the whole time has been to be ready opening day. I've worked hard for it and uh, taking it one day at a time. Feel good. Just got to focus on today. Throwing 60 feet, so <laughs> got to keep moving forward. When you say play opening day, does that mean in the field or just be ready to uh, hit? Yes, sir. Uh, I expect to be ready to play fully in the field and, and hit. And if not, then I'll uh, move forward and do what they tell me. But I plan on being ready. Second base shortstop, what do you um, think? Goals to play shortstop until so somebody tells me otherwise. Defense has been a big emphasis, just improving from last year. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, anytime you see room for improvement, I want to attack that area. And uh, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I didn't play good defense last year. And I take pride in my defense. And I expect to return to, to good form. Um, you know, I think there's a lot to learn from failure, and I expect to uh, have a good year defensively. How much did losing the last three games last year kind of motivate you guys in the offseason? Um, I think, you know, we're always motivated to do better. I don't think any win or loss, anytime you lose, if it's not the last game, I'm going to be frustrated. It's the bottom line. You want to win, and you want to win every game you play in. Um, so I think looking from last year, just learning from all the losses, is going to be big for us, you know. Incorporating the new freshmen um, is going to be big for us. I think our team chemistry is unbelievable, and I'm just really excited about what we have going forward. What's it going to take to get the program back to the standard that you guys have? You know, I think we have it. We got to just work hard, stay committed to the goal, stay committed to each other, um, and, and continue to improve each and every day. There's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be adversity. That's the game. That's what happens throughout a season. This is my third year, and I felt like I've learned a lot in the first two years that I can carry on to the younger guys. And I think everybody's on board with the same mindset of what we need to do to get better every day, and that's what's so exciting about this team and this season. Last season, about this time, you were the shortstop. And now, a year later, talking maybe about a transition plan to get you back over there. Has it been sort of humbling to have to go through that process a little bit? Um, you know, I wouldn't say it's been humbling. I just think... My dream, my goal is to play shortstop, whatever level my entire life I've wanted to play shortstop. Um, this injury has taught me a lot. It's taught me a lot about how much I miss the game. It's taught me a lot about how much I love my teammates. It's taught me a lot about uh, overcoming adversity. And I think, you know, once I get through it at the end of the day, um, I'm going to come out better from it. I'm going to come back better. Um, it's taught me lessons that I don't think anything I've ever gone through in my life has taught me. Um, you know, I, I, I just, I really just want to say like how much I miss my teammates. This is awesome for me to be able to put the pants on and come out here with these guys because I've really missed this opportunity. Has it been a long eight months for you guys just based on how last year went? Yeah, it's anytime you lose, like I said, if it's not the last game of the year, if we're not holding the trophy, I'm going to be upset. Um, this isn't a you know situation where it's okay to lose. You know, it's almost, I, I feel like, sorry for the program like I feel like the players have all kind of taken on a little bit of the you know responsibility to not let that happen again and I'm not going to let those seniors walk off that field with tears in their eyes one more time because it's just not it's not what I like to see so um, you know obviously through the eight months you do everything you can every single day to prepare yourself for February 13th and to prepare yourself for each and every game throughout the year and like I said it's not a you know it's not a sprint it's a marathon so we have to just stay committed to the plan, stay committed to each other, and I think there's a lot of good things to come. With the injury, has it been difficult <coughs> to kind of pace yourself and not try to do too much too quickly? Uh, absolutely. Um, I've wanted to, there have been times when I want to kind of get ahead of myself and people are going to kind of hold me back um, just because that's who I am and that's what I want to do. You know, I want to be here for my teammates, I want to be here for my coaches, I want to be here for everybody that loves this program, and, and I want to be, be a part of this because uh, I think it's going to be a special year. And, and uh, you know, at the end of the day, if I'm ready, um, then, then that's I'll be ready. But, you know, it's kind of out of my control. I've done everything I can. And, uh, you know, it's kind of up to other situations at this point. This team's not getting a lot of preseason love. Pick third in the Atlantic. Can you guys use that to your advantage? Um, you know, I don't think preseason love. I, I don't really care about what they say preseason. Um, it's tough to just look at a piece of paper and uh, you know, determine how many wins and losses you're going to have. It, it, there's a lot more that goes in behind the scenes that a lot of people don't know about. And I'm pretty confident uh, in this team and this group that we have 
that we're gonna, um, you know, have a successful season. I don't. I'm not like I said. I'm not motivated by the people that aren't behind this program. I'm motivated by the people that support this program. I'm motivated by the people that are behind uh, the players, the fans, the coaches. You know, this is a great place. It's a special university. There's special people involved, and uh, it, it's. I can't explain it. The family atmosphere, but. It's uh, it's something I'm never gonna forget, and I can't wait to to get on and and get after the chase again with these guys because this is something I love to do. Has the player.